Okay, good morning, you crazy kids. Uh, it's, what day is it? When, Wednesday, 13th of July, at 20 to nine in the morning. I just wanted to share this very, very quick video with you. Yes, I'm not on camera because I'm still in my dressing gown. Can you believe it's lazy son of a what's it? So let's uh, share screen and talk you through stuff and nonsense. So screen one, there we go. Okay, so this is, I've gone through this previously on the uh, one minute scalping uh, on the pound Australian dollar. So I've got the one minute time frame, as you can see up here in the top left hand corner, one minute time frame, pound Australian dollar, and it says there, pound, British pound Australian dollar one, and we're on the one minute time frame. Uh, and depending on what time you're up today, uh, just applying these three indicators to your trading view chart uh, can be of great help to you. So uh, there's three indicators and high Kanashi candles. I should clarify that. So we've got uh, the X trend, uh, chandelier exit, and the QQE threshold. So the chandelier exit, I'll give you the settings for those. Uh, you're looking at ATR period of one and ATR multiplier of 1.85. So that's one and 1.85. Uh, anything on start. So we untick the long stop, long stop uh, start, and the short stop and short stop start. We're just having the buy and sell labels. Uh, I have put them as absolute. Some people like to put them um, below bar or above bar, depending which way you're you're going. Um, but I've just put them as absolute uh, because it's fairly straightforward to see. Uh, in fact, I'll just show you quickly what the difference is. So for the bar, is we want that below bar. You see it goes directly below the bar. Um, I've just preferred to have just that little bit of a gap there. Um, that's my personal choice. So there you go, that's uh, 1 and 1.85. So that is the chandelier exit. So for indicators, you just type in chandelier, and there you go, chandelier exit by Everget. So already got that on the chart, already got the settings on there. Next one is Xtrend. Uh, so Xtrend, I've just got on the settings there, just the top thing ticked, a uh, top option. Uh, so I haven't got shapes on there. Uh, nothing else to, needed to change, just, just that. Uh, and Xtrend, if you go to indicators and type in Xtreme Trend, it's spelt just starting with an X. So no E at the beginning. Xtreme Trend by Giotti Prasad. Uh, so that's that one there. Uh, and you had some opportunities to make some fairly decent money uh, this morning if you were up early enough. So literally, you don't really have to think about this. You could, you know, it's giving you a buyer signal here. You're, um, and there is a slight little arrow part on the label there. So it's pretty much bang in the middle. So it's on this candle here. So high Kanashi candles, they start at halfway along the body of the previous candle, uh, and it's a trend-based uh, way of trading. So we're basically looking at this has given us a buy signal. It's crossed above this extreme trend. And then we're also looking at the QQE threshold, which uh, you will need to have the, the RSI set at three, the RSI smoothing at five, don't think you need to actually change any settings on this. Um, I've just taken off or unticked some of these bits that apply to the chart itself. Uh, and then you're just looking for this to go from red to green. Ideally, the extreme trend to go from red to green as well, but as long as it's crossed above, uh, then we're happy to go with that. And that is then, see, because of the speed that that moved, that's taken a while to, to catch up. Whereas when you see where it changed up here for the cell, you've got the cell alert at the top here. Uh, you then get the uh, high Kanashi candle cross below the extreme trend. 
uh, and then you've got the cell alert there and you've got the, this changing from green to red and in for a cell position. Now, even if you didn't get that right at the start, say you got it down here somewhere, um, that's 50, 50 odd pips. I haven't even gone right to the bottom. That's 50 odd pips to, to there. So when to exit the trade, pretty much as soon as, well, either as soon as you feel comfortable with the profit that you've received, uh, or wait until you get an alert in the opposite direction. So to set the alert, you can just go on to alert, choose CE, and then you can choose the CE buy or the CE sell. I put it as only uh, once per bar and then click create. I've already got two in place at the moment. And I was hoping in a way that we might get a buy alert appear during this. And we could see that at the actually moment on the threshold that's changed from red to orange. And you could see that the candle colors have, have changed on here. Um, but we haven't had a buy signal appear just yet. So we shall, I'm not necessarily gonna do the whole video just to see if we get the buy uh, alert. But I just wanted to show you that this is actually a fairly simple way of setting up your chart with just three indicators. So you should be covered for it for the uh, free version of TradingView. We can actually see now that the uh, QQE threshold has changed to green now. So we might get a buy alert in a moment. Um, and prices crossed above that uh, extreme trend there as well. So um, we're not diving in for a buy um, just yet based on the, I mean, actually what, what I was saying before, before adding the chandelier exit, uh, that did look like it would be a good option. You may have seen that I've taken off the stochastic. You may have seen that I've also taken off the vortex. And that is just because, you know, for those of you that are on the free version, you can only use three indicators. So I didn't want to overload you with loads of stuff. So, um, oh, so the QQE, that was the other thing I wanted to show, QQE threshold. QQE threshold by Jose or Jose 5770. That's all you need to add to them. So uh, there you go. You've got three indicators, one, two, three, uh, and then you've got the chandelier exit, the extreme trend, and the QQE threshold. Uh, and that's why it hasn't given us a, a buy alert, because it wasn't clearly ready for a buy just yet. So 50 odd pips you could have had this morning just by setting alerts on these and diving into the to the trade. So there we go. I'll stop waffling, leave you with that for the uh, for the day. Enjoy. I hope it helps. Catch you guys later.